The hero that did the impossible. The man that defeated a monster. He rallied a nation at war. There was a time when everyone could say, I know Beowulf. During the Grand War, the people of the Canopy Kingdom were gripped with a terrible fear of the race of savage giants known as the Gigans. They were unstoppable. Then came Beowulf. He defeated the brutal Gigan warrior Grendel in a no-holds-barred exhibition match as the nation watched. Seeing her son defeated, Grendel's mother was consumed by rage and lashed out. But our hero didn't flinch. The hag went down. That day, Beowulf became a legend. It wasn't long before Wolfomania was running wild. Beowulf, the champion of a nation, a natural entertainer, remembered for his wolf pack of fans and for action figures the Canopy Kingdom's little boys couldn't live without. But when the war ended, the patriotic spirit that fueled that adoration for Beowulf began to fade. After he left the ring, he was stuck with bit parts in cheap action flicks, game shows, and even infomercials. He didn't go out with a growl, but with a whimper, as the bad wolf man on the popular kids' show, Any of the Stars. Beowulf disappeared from the public eye. How long has it been since anybody's heard that famous howl? Shut up, TV. I still got the howl. And I got the noise complaints to prove it. Those were the good old days, right? High five, buddy. Come on, don't leave me hanging. We interrupt Canopy Kingdom Celebrity Crash Out for a breaking report. The Skull Girl has reappeared. Sightings have been confirmed in downtown New Meridian and Maplecrest. Ow! A little late. Wait a sec. Did you slap me, bro? Not cool. Sister, you gotta help me! This thing is possessed! Is that the arm of a Gigan? What does it look like? Quick, do an exorcism or something! You should rid yourself of it, child. The dead are under the Skullgirl's control now. Hey, I earned this trophy fair and square. She can't have it. Finally! Stupid thing calm down. You have been given a second chance. Renounce it. Be not prideful. Damn right I'm proud! I'm gonna kick some Skullgirl butt! <sighs> I knew all you little wolves out there couldn't forget your main man! He's back to protect the pack! Skullgirl's gonna regret treading on wolf territory. Arroo! Hey, champ. You sure you're ready for this? It's been years since you got in the ring. I might be too much for you to handle. How am I doing? I can't believe I get to help out with your comeback! Good, good. Y you're doing fine. Looks like we both got something to prove. Are you ready, Wolfpack? Cause I am! They're ready! Cameras rolling and action! Balls here! Box it! Box it! Box it! One twenty-year Python! Box! Good job! Press it! Box! 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 Hey! Box! Box! Hey! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! You need to work on those promos if you want to extract. That little demonstration should put any doubts about my comeback to rest. That's just what I'll do to the Skullgirl, too.
Ugh. Okay. Don't worry about me, big guy. It's usually worse than this. How'd you like your first headliner? You taste blood out there, babe. You smell the crowd. They're hungry for more. They're dying for the wolf. Forget that no-name you just dropped on the mat. Even Grendel is ancient history. You're back. It's like the last few years never even happened. I'm so glad we're back in business together, bro. I am so pumped! Good, good. This is just the beginning. Zane McDougal is gonna take you all the way this time. I promise. Before too long, you'll be taking on the whole world's enemy, the Skull Girl, in front of the cameras. This train don't stop! <laughs> Not this time. But first things first. The town's in an uproar, right? Because of the Skull Girl. The populace is... how can I put this? They're hugging their teddy bears and crying. You can hear them out there, crying in fear. And do you know why? I don't! Tell me why! I'll tell you why. It's because there are so many freaks on the streets. The Skull Girl shows up, everything goes all wobbly, and the characters come popping out of the woodwork. We need someone to put them back in the woodwork. You think you could be a carpenter for me, Beowulf? Don't you worry, man. My entire body's a hammer! Uh, right. <laughs> right. Look, it's all set up. You don't have to worry about a thing. The cameras will capture your brave battle on behalf of the little people. Can you do that for me? I can be a hero! You wanna be a hero? Go and get him! I love the way you think, man. Always one step ahead. Who are you? You can't stop me! That's right! The wolf is here to put a stop to... Wait, wait a second. Hey, you, guy. Go camera. This is gonna be epic. What's he talking about? No idea. You think you can make a fool out of me? Get out of my way! Who's next? Ow! Ow! Make it flashy, guys! Showtime! Here we go! Stop the Zane wasn't kidding about the freak show. That fight was one big highlight reel. Remember, the tape goes to Zane McDougal. Write it down, would you, buddy? We only deliver what's on our menu. Don't you worry, babe. It's all part of the Beowulf comeback story. A big, beautiful story. Good old Zane's gonna make you look your best. Zane? What are you doing here? Oh, don't sweat it. I saw everything. You did good here today, kid. Real good. Come to my office tomorrow. We'll talk about your next match. Who's there? Oh, how amusing. I was looking for my wayward project, and I find instead a famous fool. You must be the one who beat her. I beat somebody. Or something. Screamed a lot. That how you mean? 
She clearly isn't ready if she lost to you. But it's survival of the fittest. This city is a proving ground after all. I just want to clean up Numeria. The soul girl's out there somewhere, and I am going to find her. You plan to fight the Skull Girl? I've decided that it's your turn. Let's test you out. Who's next? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Oh, sure. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Good job. Pressler. 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 I must have more strength than you bargained on. <sighs> I didn't expect this. You can actually wield that Gigan's arm like a weapon. I've picked up a few tricks since I beat him. You beat a Gigan? Don't make me laugh. I lived that war, little man. You posed for the crowds, but you never once visited the battlefield. Alone, against a Gigan warrior at full strength? You'd never stand a chance. Then again, your ignorance may be staggering, but that has its uses, too. Who are you calling ignorant? You just got schooled by the wolf! And it was a lesson about not wasting my time. Sadly, I can see that you haven't learned anything at all. <laughs> I must be going, Beowulf. Good luck with your career. Do you have any clue what's really going on around here? You want something, kid? Maybe you're dumber than I thought. Annie, girl of the stars, remember? Whoa, crazy! Man, you look just like the Annie I used to work with. I, I can tell the difference, though. It's the hair. Mm. Look, Beowulf, you're messing with things you don't understand. This isn't a show. It isn't a wrestling match. It's real, and you'll die. Stay away from the Skull Girl. Hey! Wrestling is real! If my hunch is right, whoever's behind your latest stunt is way worse than a crooked agent. You were already set up once. Don't be fooled again. What are you talking about? The Gigan? You're telling me you didn't notice? Oh, no, not you two. Kids these days. Beowulf, it's time to grow up. Open your eyes. Stop fooling yourself and stop fighting for somebody you can't trust. And I can trust you. See you later, Annie. If that's even your name. You aren't kidding about the weirdos, Zane. Wish I could wrestle some of the guys from back in the day. It's the Skull Girl's influence. It brings them out. Out of the woodwork, right. You said that. I thought you wanted to be New Meridian's number one. Times change, my friend. You've got to keep up. Forget the old days. You're complaining to me while your fans are howling for the wolf. But the stuff I've been hearing... Nonsense, forget it. You know how people get, they just want to tear you down. They know you're onto something. Think about your career. Your wolf pack is back. Who cares about the rest? You know, you're right. The wolf is back. Which is good, because I have another little problem, I mean, another opportunity lined up. I need you at the River King Casino PDQ. I set up a match with a freak called Big Ben. You can't miss him. Big as a house with a trench coat draped over the mess.
There he is. Hey, you! You ready to go? Are you talking to me? Damn right I am! The wolf is about to howl! What does that even mean? It means it's time for you to prepare yourself for a legendary beatdown! Why is a washed up TV wrestler getting in my way? You hit hard times and now you're Medici muscle? Hey! Who you calling washed up? But that reminds me, yo camera girl! Make sure you capture that sweet, sweet moment when I slam him right into the ground! Uh, I'm just here for the catering. Who's next? Uh! Let's do this in one take! Showtime! Good heat. Will you? Wolfpack, this is for you! Did you get that? The part where I said, this is for you? Because they liked it. Uh... I knew it. While I was wasting time with you, they got to Avian. What was that all about? Sweet shark's tooth necklace you got there. That new? <laughs> you done good, kid. You done good. I got your next match lined up. You would not believe who you're fighting. Uh, I mean, you will literally not believe it. So who is it? That would ruin the surprise. I'm sick of surprises. Who was that guy I just fought anyway? No camera crews in sight, and now this guy is accusing me of being a Medici thug? Beowulf, Bonnie, baby cakes. Haven't you heard of hidden cameras? Look, you pay me to do the thinking here. You pay me to set up your fights, then you fight, remember? That's how the whole agent thing works. Maybe, but this whole thing is weird, Zane. Even for wrestling. Weird sells, baby. When you see how pumped up the crowd is for your next match, well, it's gonna take you further than you've ever been. You think so? Yeah. Remember Grendel? Forget Grendel. This match is going to leave that fossil in the dust. We are talking huge. We are talking massive. We are talking a surprise the size of New Meridian itself. I don't know. I ain't so sure you can pull it off. Leave it in my hands. That's all I'm asking here, my little wolf. Leave everything in my hands. Are you ready, Wolfpack? Are you ready to howl? I fought hard to make it back here. And tonight, we've got a surprise for you. I've agreed to a mystery match for you. I'm doing it all for you out there in New Meridian. Playing to the crowd, just like always. And they're eating you. How nice for you, they all are. Who are you supposed to be? I'd ask you the same question. By now, you can't pretend you don't know that fight was rigged, that Grendel was drugged, that you're no hero. Think back to the day, Baylor. Grendel's elderly mother, sobbing over her dead son, put up more of a fight than he did, didn't she? If you say so. Strange, isn't it, that an elderly woman would be harder to best than a warrior in his prime? 
The only way to rile up the people was to show the Giggins could be beaten. It was a setup. The one time the Medici's worked with the government, it came off perfectly. No. You know it's true, Beowulf. It's time to hang up your chair, apologize to the crowd, and leave the ring. That ain't gonna happen. This is my house! Right or wrong, nobody leaves this ring without a fight! Get high! Yes! Oh yeah! Everybody, mind your marks! Showtime! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> what I thought. As if that proves anything. You'll regret this soon enough. Regrets? I got plenty. But they're between me and Gretel. You don't get to say a damn thing about the subject. Whoever you are. Now get out of the ring. What that fraud said, it might be true. I think Grendel probably was drugged that day. I didn't know. I just found him. It doesn't matter. I'll make it up to you all. I'll make it up to everybody. Even Grendel. Tonight, I promise you the biggest match of my career. And that? That was pathetic. So I'll make a new promise to you right now. I'm going to take on the Skull Girl. You hear me, New Meridian? I'm going to take her down. That's right. I saw your declaration in the ring. Quite bold. Damn right! I've had enough of the runaround. I'm ready to fight the Skull Girl. You are a fool. But this, I never expected you would attempt it. You have slipped the leash. With those words, your fate is sealed. What the hell has gotten into you, man? And yet, you still bark. All I needed was for you to defeat the opponents I selected. Everything would have worked out for both of us. But now you mean to bite the hand that feeds you. What use is a dog that turns on its master? It is time to put you down. You're insane! I'm afraid you are mistaken, Beowulf. You're the one who is. In. I beat some of these guys, and now they're down here? Who the heck are you? Poor lost soul, don't you recognize me? These inferior beings dare get my way. And that sealed their fate. This is the road you have chosen, and so you shall join them. You should have listened to me. Alas, I see now that you never would. It is the folly of men to be strong-handed fools. And now it's too late for you! Get hype! Clench! Everybody warmed up? Action! One twenty and five five. Hey, catch it! Break, dig, clinch! You, wolf, wolf, get sweet! Watch it, watch it, watch it! Danger! Right now. Ah! 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 Ah!
you too? Because I can beat that too. The Wolfman laying this smack down on some seriously gross walls and squishy floor. Yeah. Get used to the decor. You're not leaving. I've still got my chair. Don't forget the chair. It's called hurting for a reason, baby. Perhaps you might consider using it for its intended purpose. And sit, boy. I can make you much less comfortable. My patience for you won't last. Listen? Nope, not Beowulf. Now, look. No more arguing. There's no way you stop the shapeshifter. That must have been her domain. She'll find her way here any second. And the schoolgirl is above us, too. We have to get everyone out of here. Above us? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do not get any more stupid ideas. Look. Danny, I know I screwed up. I just loved being a hero. Now everybody's saying that I never was one. If that's true, I have a duty to make it right, don't I? I promised all those people up there that I was gonna take down the Skullgirl, right? I better do it. For them. For Grendel. Now might be our only chance. You're not going to listen to me, are you? Afraid not. Fine. You do what you want. Go and get yourself killed. I can't say I didn't try. Thanks, Annie. Oh, buddy. Feels like you're itching for a fight, too. Or is that the skull girl helmet? Up there. Ironic. You plan to fight me. With that, a corpse's arm. I thought you and the dead were best buds. Seems appropriate. You comprehend nothing. I have only sympathy for Grendel. You exploited him during the war, and even now, you still do. You're right. I know the truth now. It wasn't a fair fight. But Grendel, he's my partner now. Has been for years. That's why I'm gonna make things right by taking you down. Maybe after that, the big guy can rest in peace. Is that supposed to make you feel better about what you did? A hollow sentiment. In truth, you fight for glory, but you have picked the wrong fight this time. You will find only the grave. Oh! <laughs> 
stop that! See how weak you are! See how weak you are! No, you See how weak you are! You dare challenge me? See how weak you are! Much of your strength is borrowed. I can take that advantage away from you, and I will turn it against you. Damn! Things can't get worse than this! Foolish spell! Become food for the dragon! Tag team? Harsh. Guess I set that one. Settle this. 
Atlantis. As warriors! Hope you can rest in peace, big guy. Or this piece if you can, anyway. It's over. For a while, anyway. Sucks, but the fight never really ends. No matter how long I go on. Man, it's really hitting me now. You are the same Annie I knew back in the day. That stuff, that's real. You finally got it. See, that's kind of my thing. This is what I do. The show? It's almost funny. The writers make up stories based on the folk tales that came down through the generations. The same ones that are based on my actual life. It's kind of weird playing yourself on television, isn't it? I hear that. You would, wouldn't you? You know, Beowulf, I misjudged you. You're kind of an idiot, but not a bad guy. In fact, you remind me of somebody I used to know years ago. Somebody who helped me when I needed it. Hmm. You know, that isn't a half bad idea. Right on! Uh, you lost me. Well, let's just say that when it comes to my show, what I want goes. It's more popular than ever, and so am I. What do you say to coming back? As the bad wolfman? No way. You may not be cut from the same cloth as me, but you should at least get a chance to play a hero on TV. I think... you've earned it. You might be a schmuck, but you helped me find my way to the heart of this little problem. With my strength and your green hair, we make an unbeatable team! Close enough. This show doesn't make any sense! Who is that idiot? Didn't he used to be a bad guy? Who cares? As long as they're a sweet, sweet toy! What the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> 